Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone doing today? I am actually doing really great. So let's start off with how this one dried. Now this came out really gorgeous. I, as you, my last video, I'll put the uh, link right here to the video of me making this guy. I mean, I just, and this is really smooth, which is weird, but it looks like it has so much texture. And one of my subscribers, and I'm subscribed to her channel too, um, she is awesome, she's so funny, I'm going to link her channel. It is called Acrylic Pour, comma, My Therapy and Passion, or My Passion and Therapy. Uh, either, oh god, I love her channel. She is awesome. And, well, you know what guys, you can't have the name of this pour, I am so sorry. She dubbed this, you know, because I was saying I want to find new ways to pour. I always want my own, you know, pour. I could call my own that I created. And then she says, Marisa, I love this painting. And you know what? You've created your own pour. And it's called the Constipation Pour because the paint came out so slowly but it was so controlled and it really i just love this painting but it's all jokes it was so funny um so i'm sorry guys you can't have the name it's mine this is called the constipation pour okay that's it <laughs> all right but you know that was a jokey joke anyway she's awesome i'm going to link her channel below go show her channel some love she's amazing and she's a really cool space uh, to do pours herself. So yeah, I think it's called Acrylic Pour, My Therapy and Passion. But yeah, I will link the channel below, okay guys? All right, so this dry beautifully. I love it, awesome. And there's so much metallic in there. I just, I just love it. All right, so that is that. Let, is, let us move on with my constipation pour <laughs> I love it but no the paint did come out so ultra slow so today as you can see we are gonna do some blooms now I'm gonna get this light over here oh that's better all right so um, yeah I these are a whole bunch of uh, canvases that I want to re, you know, I want to re pour over because I, and I have more of them. Some of them I did last year, and I just didn't like the way they came out. So there is six of them here. So we're gonna actually don't worry about this. This one actually has a lot of texture on it. That doesn't bother me. So I just did this guy right now um, because the cell topper, which is here, and I'll explain that in a second for those of you who don't know, really quick. Um, that was sitting around for about a week or so, so I just tested it, and this bloom came out perfect. This is uh, one of my round, I think there's like a four inch round piece uh, that I had ordered, three or four inch round. I think this is four inch. Anyway, I love this. So, we are going to do some bomb blooms today, alright? And I am going to do all six of these guys, okay? So, we got um, four four by four little mini canvases here and we have um two five by sevens i really love this shape i don't know why i just love this little shape here so we're gonna do a little bit of a speed paint today speed blooming all right that's what i'm calling it my speed blooming video so we're gonna do that today all righty and so let's quickly go over here and I literally brought out every single color I have so far for my primal flow because this technique works so perfectly with this paint it's 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 ridiculous look at that it's it's just so beautiful so this one is magenta um, I have a little bit of shimmer black left and um, the silver fox and then the cell topper is on top and then I just 
uh, blue down and out. That's the technique for this this technique for this particular one. Um, you just blow down and out, and you wind up with this guy right here. I love this. Perfect for me. So okay. Alrighty. So which colors? We got everything here. I think this color because this. This guy didn't, never came out with a label. Um, it was missing a label when I received it in my starter kit. So um, I think this is called Pacific Navy or something like that. And I have very little left. So I added a little bit of the Silver Fox to it just to, you know, uh, bring out some of the color. So let me take that out for a second and show you that. It's a really pretty color. So we got uh, Silver Fox and we have Shimmer Black. So I'm just going to like, you know, I got six paintings here. Um, usually I do three colors per painting. I do like a bottom coat like you see here. Then I'll pour a little bit of two more colors and then the cell topper. So I got plenty to choose from and like I did the last time, I'm just going to like on a whim choose a color that I like and what I think and actually all these colors I'm telling they all go together beautifully <clears throat> so we have like bubblegum pink we have lime fizz we have sunshine sorry these balls are so filthy um, sunshine we have intense teal we have sea foam we got some cranberry we got the magenta plum perfect and glam red and then like I said we have these guys I think this is I think this is called Pacific Navy, um, Silver Fox, and the Shimmer Black. All right. And I did catch the sale. I'm so excited. Um, it was a sale that ended on the 29th, I believe. And it was buy one, get one free. So that was an awesome sale. Um, so I wound up getting eight new uh, paints in this size, the eight ounce. I only paid for four of them, so that was awesome. And I also wound up getting some micas and some glass for um, the resin art. And these colors are gorgeous. I know I have all those Arteza, the micas, but the Arteza ones, they are pigmented, but then some of them, a lot of them aren't bright. They're very soft, which is beautiful too. Like sometimes you don't want all bright colors. Sometimes you just want like a real soft, um, you know, feel to the resin, like if you're doing coasters. So they are pigmented, but they're not as bright. And I got um, a beautiful jade color uh, mica, and I got this really like cherry red mica, and it's gorgeous. And I got some neon pink glass. So I am really excited about that. And I love my neon pinks, as you know. All right, guys, so... These are the colors we're using, you know, mix and match. And as usual, you know, my materials are in the description below. So you will have the names of all these paints already. And, oh yes, very quickly, the cell topper here to make this, this beautiful pattern and texture is the Amsterdam Titanium White and some Floetrol, which, um, you know, I, I used that's already strained. So the recipe is from, I got it from Naptime Creations, okay? It is one teaspoon of the Amsterdam to two and three quarters tablespoons of the Floetrol, all right? And you just mix it and just put a little bit in the center and that's it. And then you do the technique, you blow down and out. So that's it. We're going to be doing um, some speed painting and we're going to do all six of these canvases. I'm going to do some blooms today. Alrighty, so I will be back in a minute, guys.
so that was a lot of fun these are came out so awesome I really love that one I love this technique it is really really so simple um, you know and you can play around with the colors I mean it's great to know a little bit of color theory like what colors go best with each other but these paints and colors just really kind of go well accidentally when I blew out um, on one of them some of the other paint got on that one but actually look even that still works so these are awesome so these are the 4x4 four four mini ones I love them alright this one ugh, it came out horrible but I think I know why but this one came out beautiful I love this one so this was the only fail for me this one right here I think whatever is underneath it maybe there was a lot of silicone and I didn't wipe it off or anything I did add a little blue with that silver there so to kind of save it but the paint really isn't sticking well to this canvas so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna scrape it or not and do it again and then maybe like wipe it down but eh, I don't know we'll see but that's the only one that did not come out great for me otherwise all of them I love them all they all came out pretty cool so yeah that is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this was a lot of fun doing a little bit of speed painting today and yeah so um, that's it for today guys so if you want please subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos all my social links are below in the description as well as all the materials I use today. I hope you have a wonderful day guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.